Hello friends, this video on Redox Reaction Part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll try to understand the way to balance ox redox reaction. We know what is redox reaction, we know different types of redox reaction. Let's learn how to balance redox reaction. So there are two methods actually. One is the oxidation number method and the other is half reaction method. So let's discuss both of this method. Oxidation number method. The first step is to write the formula of reaction and product. The second step is to identify identify atoms which undergoes oxidation number change, right? And then we have to find the uh, change in oxidation number, right? Change in oxidation number per atom, and we have to balance the change. We have to balance the change by multiplying with sufficient coefficients. And if it is taking place in water, we have to add H plus ions, OH minus ions. If it is taking place in uh, acid we'll have to add H plus ions if it is taking place in OH minus we'll have to uh, sorry if it is taking place in basic medium we have to add OH minus ion right so if it is neutral we can add uh, water both or if it is acidic we have to add H plus if it is basic we have to add OH minus we'll take some examples on this so this is to uh, balance the ionic charge right so this is to balance ionic charge and then we have to balance the hydrogen atoms both side and then we have to validate for oxygen atoms we'll, we'll take an example but before that i have a trip uh, tip to understand this it says that uh, ox consume water so what is this simply so when you think this ox consume water so what do you can uh, think of as a ox and let me draw i could not with the picture of an ox so let's have some ox here maybe it's i'm drawing a pig right this is ox here maybe it's ox with the horns and this ox is drinking water right this ox is drinking water so the moment you think of ox drinking water you can think of this memory take ox consume water ox stand for balancing of oxidation number right c stand for balancing of charge Water is H2O, so balance hydrogen and balance oxygen. And that is the step. The first step is to balance oxidation numbers. Obviously, to balance oxidation number, you have to write the uh, reaction and find uh, the oxidation numbers, and then you have to balance oxidation numbers. So, you see, uh, this two steps talks about balancing oxidation number. Once your oxidation number is balanced, you have to balance charge. So this step talks about balancing charge by adding H plus and OH minus ion depending on which medium your reaction is taking place and then we talk about water so then water has hydrogen and oxygen so we'll talk about balancing of hydrogen and oxygen oxygen is something which should happen on its own so it's the last step we just need to validate this so let's take the example to understand this so let's first write ox consume water right so first is we have to balance oxidation number so we have this example of kr2o7 let me write this kr2 sorry k2 cr2o7 it reacts with na2 so3 sodium sulfide in the acidic solution please note it's acidic solution to give chromium with three three plus and sulfate ion as a four to minus this is the reaction since i don't have sodium here so let me make it uh, metal crispy and sodium and potassium is not there so let me remove that so this will become cr2 o7 two minus because i'm removing potassium from here plus if i'm removing sodium so this becomes SO3 2 minus gives Cr3 plus plus SO4 2 minus. Oh, this is correct for you understanding. So this is I'm just removing it to uh, remove the sodium and potassium here because it was not here, right? So just to make sure the same elements are in the reaction. This is my reaction. The first step is balance oxidation number. So to balance oxidation number, you should know oxidation number, right? Let's write the oxidation number. This is let me write in some other color. So let me write this in blue. This is minus two oxygen. We have this formula 
free image of human face, right? So this is minus 2. When you solve this, let this be x. This becomes 2x plus 7 into minus 2 for oxygen is equal to minus 2. You solve this, it becomes 14 minus 2, 12. 12 by 2, that is plus 6. This is plus 6. Similarly here, this is minus 2. And if you make it x, this is x plus 3 into minus 2. This is x minus 6 is equal to minus 2. That is x is equal to plus 4. Here also this is plus 3. Here also this is minus 2 with this rule FIOH and this becomes so x, x minus 4 into is x minus 8 is equal to minus 2, this becomes plus 4. So these are my oxidation states. Let's see the change in oxidation state. So here if you see chromium uh, from 6 to 3, right? So chromium is from 6 to 3 change is what minus 3 and for sulfur it is 2 to let me draw like this so sulfur it is 2 to 6 change is plus 2 and for chromium it is 6 to 3 change is minus 3 right this is minus 3 this is 2 how to balance it make it 6 right if you multiply this guy with 3 and you multiply this guy with 2 it will all be balanced. Correct. So let's multiply this. So what reaction will get here? If you multiply this thing with 2, you get this as 2 here. If you multiply this guy with 3, you have to multiply 3 both sides. Here I multiplied only one side because anyway I had Cr2 here, right? So chromium is balanced. Correct. So this is what you get. So my oxidation number balancing is done. Correct. Now let's balance charge. So what is the charge in left hand side? We see left hand side. My charge is what? This is minus 2 plus 3 into minus 2. Right? That is how much? Minus 8 is my left hand side charge. I'm talking about my right hand side charge, what is the charge here? 3 plus 3 into 2, that is 6, plus minus 2 into 3, that is 0. So I have minus 8 charge and I have 0 charge here. So I have to balance the charge. What is the medium here? It is acidic. Since it is acidic, I told that you have to add H plus ions. So where can I add H plus ions? I can add in LHS because LHS is minus 8 if I add 8 H plus ion here this becomes what? 0 right so the new charge will become 0 so if you see in both sides you have 0 0 charge right so both are balanced it need not be 0 0 it can be any number but in this case it came out to be 0 0 it has to be equal right so it is not charge is balanced so my charge is also balanced what is the next step? balance hydrogen so let's see the hydrogen part so here i have how many hydrogens let's see hydrogen balancing part now so balance hydrogen here it was balance charge right so in lhs how many hydrogens i have i have eight hydrogens in rhs i have how many zero hydrogen Right? How to add balance it? I can add 4H2 molecule to add hydrogen, right? To balance hydrogen. So let me add 4H2 molecule in the right hand side. So now if you see hydrogen is balanced. Correct? Now hydrogen is balanced. What is the next step? Oxygen. Since this is the last step, we'll just validate. So we have to validate if oxygen is balance or not so let me validate oxygen balance so how many oxygen in uh, lhs 7 plus 3 into 3 9 right 7 plus 3 into 3 from sulfide right how much it is 16 let's see rhs right hand side this is 3 into 4 12 from here plus 4 into 1 from what how much it is 16 Cool, we have same number of oxygens. That means we have done correct. 
This is my balanced equation. So what I can write here in green so that it's clean. It is Cr two O seven two minus plus three SO three two minus plus eight H plus gives this is the output two Cr three plus plus three SO four two minus plus four S two. This is my balanced reaction. Hope you find it easy. Where we have this memory tip. Ox consume water. Correct. Ox consume water. The moment you think of ox consume water, the first is you have to balance oxidation number, balance charge, balance hydrogen, and the last balance of oxygen. You don't need to do anything. You just validate. It should automatically come. If it doesn't come, that means there is something wrong. We have done. Let's take. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.